Hello friends, welcome back to more Entitled People Stories. We got some more Reddit posts to check out today, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and let's get into it guys. Am I the a-hole for doing my job and resulting in someone calling 911? This was honestly a really strange experience and it happened a few hours ago. I just want some outside judgment on whether or not I was wrong. For starters, I am a security guard. My job site tonight is a residential complex that is partially under construction. Around half of the houses are completed and have residents, while the other half are still under construction. There is a lot of amenities like playgrounds, dog parks, a hiking trail, etc. that are still under some level of construction and are thus closed off. They have those temporary chain-link fences you can rent surrounding each of them, with no gate to enter or exit. There are signs stating it's a construction zone, and some have no trespassing signs, but not many. My job is to make sure there is no property damage to residents' homes, as well as to make sure no one is trespassing on these construction zones. Tonight I found a family playing on the playground. This playground is completely surrounded by those tall chain-link fences. The way the family entered was a corner between the fence and the brick wall. There was a small gap you could squeeze through while also climbing over the wooden permanent fence. So this family had done that to play, as well as have their unleashed dog run around. Edit, I just felt the need to clarify the park was completely surrounded by these chain link fences with no entrance. Within that fence was the permanent park fences with entry gates, but you had to bypass the chain link fences entirely to reach those. I just felt I had to clarify this so you can visualize it. It's basically impossible to see the fence around it and assume the park is open. It is very very closed looking. I drove up and very politely asked them to leave and to leash their dog explaining that this area was closed. The mother was angry and told me they do it all the time, so I told her I'd note that in my report. I went back to my car and then the husband had come out of the park and up to my door, screaming at me that I was discriminating against them. I asked how and he would not tell me. He told me over and over that this was discrimination. For reference, the family was white, and I am mixed race but white passing, so I don't think he meant race. After I told him I was just doing my job, he said he was calling 911 to report me for discrimination. He did call 911. The officer told him effectively not to call them about this again, and to instead call my boss if he has complaints. He of course did not tell the officer he had hopped a fence. I thought this was wild and that they were clearly overreacting. But when I called my mom to tell her the story, she was shocked, saying I shouldn't have bothered a family just enjoying a park and I wouldn't have if it wasn't my job to. And the park was very, very clearly not open for use. So I don't know. My mom's reaction has me doubting myself. Some clarifications. When I asked them to leave, the mother had specifically said she would leave, but everyone does this all the time. I got into my car after that and was writing my report. I hadn't moved from the spot because I was waiting for them to leave first. And they did. They lived directly next to the park. It was after that in which the dad came up to my window and banged on it, and was shouting about discrimination. It really just sounds like OP was just doing their job as they were supposed to. I mean sure, maybe the family wasn't causing any harm by doing what they were doing, but it's obviously also OP's job to make sure people don't trespass, so I don't really see how anyone can just expect OP to turn a blind eye to it. I have a Karen as a roommate. I share a two-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment with someone who gets triggered by the most minor things. She thrives on conflict. I do my best not to cause conflict, but that is nearly impossible with this 38-year-old woman who works from home. For example, she doesn't want me to be around some of the common areas, such as the small outdoor patio, because she told me her stuff is there. She has a lot of stuff, by the way. She has so much stuff that she feels the need to put some of it in the living room and on the patio. She also told me she is a germaphobe. She doesn't want me to touch anything, such as the light switches, doorknobs, refrigerator handle, or kitchen sink handle. Or if I do, I need to wipe it down because she thinks my hands are gross and sweaty. Okay, whatever. As long as she is paying rent, I can tolerate it. This changed when she became a deadbeat. She said she would pay me sometime last week, but hasn't. She actually needed to pay me on June 1st, but I made the mistake of trusting her. I am a bit frustrated not only at myself but at her too. I already submitted paperwork to get her evicted, but the notice gives her two weeks. Even then, if she doesn't move out, I will have to obtain a court order to make her move, and that will take weeks. 
Today I decided to sit in the living room and wait for my roommate so we could talk about rent. When roommate Karen arrived and she saw me sitting near her stuff, she freaked out. She rudely called me out and told me not to sit near her stuff. I asked her when she'll pay me back. She ignored me and walked into her room. Then 15 to 20 minutes later, she walked out while talking on the phone. I asked her again and she ignored me. She walked around me to go outside to the patio and close the sliding door behind her. I pretty much just chilled next to her stuff in front of the sliding door. When she came out of the patio, I decided to go out on the patio and close the sliding door behind me. After 20 minutes on the patio, I was dumbfounded that she hadn't tried to argue with me yet. That's when I caught a glimpse of her on the phone on the other side of the sliding glass patio doors, glancing at me and hearing her say, he is sitting on the floor watching videos on his phone. I didn't think much of it. She was probably telling her friend how triggered she was, which is the reaction I wanted. She should know that I have a right to use this space. Ten minutes later, a female cop opened the sliding door. I was baffled because I knew I didn't break any laws. I did not harass, raise my voice, throw insults, show violent aggression, touch, or even threaten my roommate. All I did was try to verbally confront my roommate about the unpaid rent. The cop asked me what was going on. I nervously explained to her my roommate and I had some conflict on rent, and I added that my roommate gets mad whenever I chill on the patio. First, she told me my roommate can take a walk if she is triggered by me sitting on the patio. Second, she asked me if I was going through the legal process of kicking her out. I said yes and showed her the emails. She told me to sit tight, then walked back inside to chat with my roommate. I heard my roommate talking loudly. I couldn't make out what she was saying, probably talking about how bad of a roommate I am. After 10 minutes, the same cop returned and told me my roommate was rambling about stuff. I just nodded and told her it didn't surprise me. She went back inside. After 10 more minutes, the cop came back and told me they couldn't do anything and that this was a civil matter. We were told to avoid and not to talk to each other. Then they left. My roommate went to get her blood pressure checked by a paramedic. She later returns to her room to lament. F you, Karen. I'll be sitting in the common area next to your stuff. Update. She has been crying in her room for over an hour. I think she was talking to her mom because I suddenly received $956 in my bank account. I wasn't expecting this at all. Well, it's great that she paid up, but in all honesty, if I were OP, I would be trying to get out of there as soon as I could. With a roommate like that, it's pretty likely that things are just going to get worse. I'd be very surprised if OP doesn't run into any problems with her again. Seriously, who does that? Calling the cops on you because you asked them to pay rent? Am I the a-hole for not letting my sister stay at my house during her divorce since I'm out of the country, and then calling the cops on her when she broke into my house? So I have two elderly parents I don't talk to. They did not raise me. A lot of family drama and I'm the youngest of eight children, all of whom I don't talk to aside from my sister who is closest to me in age. I have been an engineer for 20 plus years and have never really put down roots. I own a century home that I've been restoring for the last 10 years, but it sits vacant for months at a time while I'm abroad. Last year I took a job in Kuwait and won't be back until next year. The only ones allowed in my house are my son and my neighbor, both of whom watch over my house for me while I'm gone. I got a call three nights ago from my oldest sister whom I've never met. She's going through a messy divorce and wants to move into my house until it's over, with two of her kids and her grandkid. I said no. She exploded on me, saying I've never tried to be a member of the family, and suggesting I was the reason my parents split up. I probably am, but I don't really care. All of these people are foreign to me. The sister I do talk to won't talk to me, saying I was heartless, and I got angry phone calls from a lot of quote-unquote family saying much of the same. A lot of guys at work agreed that I should have opened my home to them. Fast forward to today. They had drove there and broken a window to gain entry to my home, and my neighbor called me informing me of the situation. I called the cops and told them that I was out of the country and could not return, but would like them removed from the property, and she was arrested for trespassing. I told them I wasn't pressing charges, and I received more angry phone calls, saying I shouldn't have said no to begin with and should never have had her arrested. Apparently, most of my family and friends think I'm the a-hole. My neighbor is going to board the window, and he said there is a bunch of trash all over the place that I told him to leave. The thing is, she has a great job. She gets paid quite well, 
And she should have just paid for a hotel instead of invading my home. I don't really know. My family is my son and sister. Everyone else is just another person. Even if they're related, OP mentioned that they've never even met before. So why the hell should OP trust this person in the first place? And it was a good call not trusting her anyway. Because after telling her no, she responds by breaking a window to get in. Yeah, that's definitely the kind of person you want living in your home. Former coworker demands a job because she's a mother. In my previous job, I was a mid-level manager, and I was assigned a small team to lead. This team was composed of four members. Three of them were very hard workers who always finished their jobs and tried to learn as much as possible. The fourth one, well, she had to be asked continuously to finish her job, often tried to make others do her job, was late more often than not, would spend hours talking to others, not doing her job and disrupting others. I often asked my boss permission to fire her, but he pitied her because she's a single mother. She is, as in she's not married nor dating her kid's father, but the father and his parents live next to her and her parents, and are all very much involved in the kid's life. He also forbade me from ever reprimanding her. Eventually I was offered a better paying job and left the company. After a few months I was offered a promotion that required me to assemble a team to lead. I could either choose from the company or bring new people. I decided to contact the hardworking members of my old team and offered them the new job. It was a no-brainer for them. Much better pay, much more benefits, better working conditions, and the possibility of work from home most days. They were happy of landing a better job together and I was happy to have my old team back. A couple of days later, the fourth member of my old team called me. She was very angry that I didn't offer her the job knowing that as a mother she could use the benefits and working hours. She demanded I hired her too, but I refused. Since I had no one forbidding me from being honest, I told her that her work ethics and performance are terrible and that hiring her would be worse for me. There were so many more things I wanted to say, but I bit my tongue. She called me some names and hung up. Later that day I received the weirdest and most stupid call of my career, the HR manager from my former company called me. This has to be the most stupid HR manager I've ever met. I have so many stories of her incompetence. Apparently, after calling me, my former coworker was angry and upset. HR noticed and asked what was wrong and she told them. So the HR manager called me to reprimand me for making her upset, for treating my team unfairly, and demanding that I either offered her a job in my new company or apologized. I laughed argued with her for a bit and hung up. Alright, well that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed and also subscribe for more. So have an awesome day and I'll see you next time.